Yeah, so yeah, because you were talking about, which is a good subject too, is when you have something you like doing, and this is what talking with Nestle most. In fact, most of these people on up, up that I've had on the show are younger people. They've, you know, all wanting to do things, graduating college, in college, starting businesses, and we're all kind of getting our thing out there. But there's this common thing where it's like you, no matter what you want to do, you can't just go chase it 24-7 because you have a life that you have to support, you have to eat, you have to pay rent, you have to pay mm-hmm. bills. And so you have to like work a, a normal job. And I was talking to you a little bit about that. And you mentioned something actually quite interesting that you work for a disabled adult home, right? Um, so I'm a caretaker for uh, mentally disabled adults. Gotcha. And I work for a company that, you know, they work in different local uh, like group homes or, you know, just individual homes for these people. Right. I've been doing that since I was about 19. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. So what is that like, like at a, a daily thing working? Um, well, right now it's not too crazy because right now I'm a graveyard worker. So like I'll go to work and the people I work with will just sleep all night. Right. But it hasn't always been like that by any means. Um, I worked at a company for a while where it was like 12 hour shifts, four days a week working with these people. And it's, it could get intense sometimes. And I, I, I would get very emotionally burned out. Yeah. Um, It can be a lot, but it's really fulfilling too. I was, I was about to say, like, the fulfilling part of that must feel, like, awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, you work with these people every day, and then you start, you, you, you get to know them really well, and then you start to see them make all this progress. Mm. And, like, it's such a good feeling to be a part of that, you know, help them with that progress and see what they're doing. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I love that. I absolutely love that. So, like, how has it been working there with this coronavirus outbreak? Like, do you guys have to take any extra steps uh, or, like... Right now, it's not too crazy. You know, there's definitely been some changes. Like, um, our office has not been operating a lot. Uh, they want us to disinfect things a lot. Like, I've had uh, one of our head supervisors stop by and be like, hey, disinfect everything, like, four times a night. Oh, no, jeez. Other than that, it hasn't been too crazy. Because there's not a lot of, like, an insane amount of traffic at in and out of these places. Right. It's just the people who work there and the people who live there. So, right. Cause don't they have like family members? I'm sure like visit. Um, it just, it, it depends on, you know, who you're talking about. Right. And it, I can't get into it too much because of HIPAA violations, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, yeah. I guess so, you. but the traffic is pretty minimal. Um, I'm actually pretty grateful right now because with everything going on, so many people are losing jobs and they're out of work and it's like, mm. I kind of just get to go sit in a house from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. every night, do my thing, and help Mm. take care of these people. Heck yeah, man. That's noble. I love that. Um, 